she did everything. She's mm -hmm. I'm totally in debt to her. Mm -hmm. I was the luckiest person in the world to meet her mm -hmm. when we both were starting out. Material for the comedians trying to, and they all were really nice to me, and it, my material was horrible, but they all was super nice to me about it. Some of the funniest shit ever. No. Nope. And she's going to do the eulogy at my funeral. Oh, well, that's good. Her and Doug. Yeah. So we heard. She's just the best. Plus, she's like one of my closest yeah. friends. So. so then we worked, you know, and then we wrote the craziest show ever. Yeah. The comedian from The Tonight Show, one of the best joke writers ever. Mm. Jerry Seinfeld is a good example because his jokes were fucking pristine, mm. uh, perfect creations. Oh, that's good. Everybody was, I mean, it was all geniuses who were, I'm surrounded by these geniuses who later started the biggest shows mm -hmm. in the world, you know. And he was one of the wittiest and funniest comedians mm -hmm. I've ever met. Because Bob's such a charming, funny, mm -hmm. funny guy. Just a, a, basically a comedy genius. You know? mm -hmm. He became a, a, an unbelievably talented film director mm -hmm. and screenwriter. He just was the greatest. He basically started me off as well. One of the funniest, funniest men you'll ever meet, who was one of the funniest comedians in Boston. Performed as Monica Piper, one of the funniest comedians ever. She was so hysterical. From Her dad, Roy, was one of the great comedians in the old days. And he had the funniest bits. He was. Mm. She had a roommate, her cousin Bill, who originally had the place, who was the greatest guy. Two episodes and one with yeah. the greatest genius yes. in the world, Robert Sheckley. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, oh, that yeah. helped. Yeah. The greatest show in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, where was I?